Hi there, we recently bought a 2017 Chrysler Pacifica Touring uh, because our family is about to expand. Uh, but it came with this standard console which was very low to the floor. So what we wanted to do was replace it with a larger, I guess I'll call it the mid-grade console. I know there's a super console out there which has a similar footprint. Um, but the first step here is going to be removing the existing console from the vehicle first. So this is part one. So as we started to take it apart, uh, the first thing that we wanted to do was to take back these mats, right? These rubber coverings, which hide two bolts in the front there, right underneath the power one, the power supply for the USB and the uh, 12 volt DC. And then also in this little slot here, that rubber tray removes two. to expose two more bolts here in the back. Now these bolts come out pretty easily. Uh, all it takes is a 10 millimeter socket wrench. Uh, and for the purposes of this video, I am speeding up the process. So I taking off, here's bolt number one, right? And then moving on over to bolt number two. So you don't need a, a huge socket for these and actually this 10 millimeter socket wrench was like one of just a few tools that I needed to both disassemble and install the new console. So now that we have the two in the front removed, we move on to the back bolts. Bolt number one comes out here. So this is actually, I guess my terminology is incorrect. These are the bolts in the back there, whereas they were nuts in the front. Four. Okay. And now we four. have all four of the securing four. items four. off. So out. while I'm in here as well, I show you I can take out the cup holder uh, rubber molded there. surfaces there. And you'll see that with the four bolts off, it's already pretty loose there, so I can wiggle it up and down. It just takes some upward motion and towards the back of the vehicle to get it out. Now remember, don't pull it too hard because the power supplies in the front there are still secured. So if we take a look at the One. location and take a look at the back of this area, you'll see that there are two plug items which go into the cigarette lighter and to the USB port. Both of them are power only, so neither one of them would pass any data here. Um, the other thing is this black uh, piece in the front here that houses both of the power options um, it does pop out as well. So, you know, it was a bit awkward for me to film and try to get them out, so apologies for the view of my the back of my head here. But it took a little bit of struggling here. Um, so as you'll see here, I just popped them out. They're just uh, held in place with clips there. So you can just pop them out. They won't break the clips whatsoever. And then to get the plug out, the two plugs out uh, to release, you will need some sort of a, a screwdriver or something to fit in there to uh, release the plug heads. Alright, so now that it's disconnected, I can remove it completely from the vehicle, and you'll see that I have a lot more space to work with here. Um, and the first thing that comes to mind with this being a new vehicle, it was recently detailed, but I still wanted to kind of clean up some of the gunk and the muck that the previous owners, uh, and their kids I should say, have left around in the vehicle. So just a wet rag moving it around. So I'm just taking a quick uh, close-up view. So those are the two plugs I disconnected. You'll see the two screws there from the bolts that we removed. And then back here is this bracket which held up the back of the console. Now the bracket does have, at the bottom you'll see here, um, a little electrical device with a cord attached to it. Now that is actually the, uh, the radio for your keyless entry for your keyless start for the for the key pops right so they're actually located right there in the console um, but what I wanted to do next here was to take out that bracket 
because the Super Console and the Mid-Grade Console both come with a different bracket, a metal bracket. And you'll see that in part two. Um, so make sure if you are shopping around for consoles that it either comes with the bracket or you consider also buying the bracket separately. Um, so that when you're ready to make this install, you don't have to wait around and order another piece. So all that's securing this plastic bracket from the standard console is another four nuts. Some of these nuts were a little more difficult to get a hold of because the carpet is very close or often overlapped with the nuts. And the carpet is pretty taut as well. Right. So as I was moving around this, um, you know, I loosened them as best as I could. But eventually I did have to, you know, try to come up with a different way of getting to the nuts or, you know, unscrewing them while the carpet was a hindrance. So ultimately I left for a moment. And then, uh, you know, I tried attacking, attacking it from the back, which, by the way, the stone go seats were a lifesaver um, because it allowed me to clear out a lot of the space in the back around the seats and around the console and be able to work more efficiently. Now, around this time, I did get a little bit frustrated, uh, honestly, but I did go and get one of my trim removal tools. Uh, so it's a big plastic piece, essentially like a plastic crowbar, and that allowed me to move the carpet back just enough so that I could get the sockets in there and get that last remaining nut that was uh, a bit of a headache. Uh, as you see here, the video is sped up. It took me a little while to get all four of these, all four of these nuts off, but finally I did. So now that I have it removed, those are my four nuts. I'm just going to set them aside for uh, later use. I'm going to use essentially those same nuts with the metal bracket for the new console. So now that I removed it, uh, once again, it's still tethered to the electronic tra transponder for the key fobs. So you'll want to be careful here, right? At first, I tried to disconnect the cable from the device. But eventually I just said, you know what, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to slide it off of the bracket and get it out of the car. So we'll revisit that when we reinstall it, but um, you know, you will want to locate that somewhere else because you don't want it to be under metal and because metal could certainly reduce the range. So now that I have the old console out, I'm just showing you here my new console, right? So this is that mid-grade console. This is the one with a pass-through hole in the middle. And it does have a drawer in the back, but it is for cup holders, right? So um, whereas the Super Console does have kind of like a rolling door at the top, it does not have a pass-through because it has uh, a drawer on the lower side in the back. But for this mid-grade console, right? There's the pass-through hole from the back, and then of course I can pull here for the cup holders um, if I want to have four cups again, or if I want to uh, outfit the back seats. So stay tuned here, we'll be back with part two of this video, which is going to be installing that console, which was uh, a little more work than the removal here. Um, but I will be making that here shortly, and we We'll see you soon. So make sure that you like and subscribe. Uh, that way you can be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks a lot. Talk to you soon.